Well, hello there everyone. Welcome to episode 13, part one. The only part this week. This is it. This is it. There's no race preview to come up. This is the race review of Brazil. Uh, the season is done and dusted. We are 12 races deep and we have finished. What a fantastic season from all of you. Um, have a look at my announcements. I've thanked everyone that I could possibly thank. Um, it's just been an amazing season. I've enjoyed every single minute of it. Maybe less the last two races trying to get this wheel practice in because I've been pretty shocking. Uh, but no, I've really enjoyed every race uh, this season. It's been great. Um, so let's crack on with this race review and let's get it done and dusted. Then uh, later on, either this week, I think the calendar is going to be released late this week. The teams hopefully will sort out over this week at some point. And then we can release everything uh, in a, either in a video or on the Discord or both. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. So, Brazil. We had a pole position of Fumpf Kuglenace. He got pole. Shortly, very, very close behind was Frog Labelle. Front row of Fumpf and uh, Frog. We had P1 was Fumpf. He finished. He started in P1, finished in P1. He had a great battle with Frog for the first 10 laps or so that I was hearing on the stream at the time. Um, so, yeah, really good battle with them. Frog has just been learning. He said he's been learning uh, traction control off fully. So, um, yeah, it was, it's always going to get to the point when you're learning it, you're going to spin. I, I can't even get the hang of it. So, um, so, yeah, I think he put the power down maybe a bit too early, lost the back end of the car. But um, Frog has shown some fantastic form. He's all, I've always known he's got pace, but he's just been a little bit unlucky in races form has probably not quite been there but the last two or three he has been absolutely smashing it out of the park so i'm expecting i'm expecting him to uh to come good and really push for that championship next season so yeah Fumpf in p1 let me just i'm going off on a tangent Fumpf p1 when we had uh Honzi finished p2 he started in p16 finished in p2 and then exotic congratulations on your first podium in sfr you're on a great run of form at the minute nrl you got a uh you're pretty pretty decent in nrl i think you got a podium as well i can't remember anyway uh congratulations exotic p11 to p3 a great drive from you fastest lap was set by corne uh he did a 108 812 one official dnf in the race which was uh, me van rocco and the constructors wise we have a constructors champion it was pretty much it wasn't guaranteed at all but the writing was on the wall i think so Haas finished with 259, Renault 229, uh, Red Bull 191. So they get the top three in the constructors. They're off to the gala. Racing Point 160, Alpha Tauri 152, Williams 113, McLaren 46, Ferrari 42. However, 25 points of those could be construed as a little bit of... Uh, of the FIA getting involved with them, but uh, yeah, we'll see. It didn't, didn't, um, what do you call it? it? Didn't really matter in the end, should I say, between us, Alfa Romeo and Mercedes, because the Alfa finished on 21 and Mercedes uh, pick up the uh, wooden spoon with 10. But, you know, that was such, there was battles all across the whole. I know some teams might be a bit overpowered this season. We're going to try and fix that a little bit next season. There are still going to be some like Alpha, um, me and Delta. We are not. We'll put our hands up and say we're not the quickest, but we're still going to be teammates. So when we know we're never going to win the constructors unless both of us smash out some, you know, you know, we get some good off season practice in. But um, but yeah, as long as we've got three or four teams fighting in each section of the uh, constructors, then I'm happy with that. And obviously we had Corne who won the championship last week. So now let's move to overtake of the race. Take it away, Nick. Take it away, Ben. Done. Plenty of action to start this race. Oh, so Orokale oh. goes around the outside. What a good move. Of seven. So that was uh, that's the overtake of the race so far. Orokale. For sure. Turn seven, right? An exotic, a very, very... Well earned uh, well P3 podium to Exotic, so congratulations to him. So, that's that. Now let's go into predictions. Prediction reveal. So, only a few I had in this week, so let's go through them quickly. First up, Haas Constructors. Uh, predicted by no one other but uh, Toss the Caber. So we got that right. Well done. Uh, next one by Stuart Little. Predicted Toss to ruin his own race. He didn't. Uh, Delta with a top eight finish. Nope. And a fifth no points in a row for Stewart. A bit of masochism. Is that the way it is? Sado masochism. 
yeah, that's the one. But no, you got it. You got your points. So I can't give you that. Next one, time penalty for a regular voter. I'm going to question mark this because I know a couple of people got them, but I'm not sure what they were for. I don't think they were for exceeding. Uh, rain at the end of the race, you absolute hero. Atomar, rain at the end of the race. It played last three, four laps. It played Havoc. Uh, Williams to outscore Alpha Tauri. They did. They got one extra point or one extra place or two extra points. Uh, Red Bull in P1 and P4. No, no, not even close. P15 and P19. And then the late one to come in was from Exotic. So, um, Haas Constructors. Yep. Merck overtake Ferrari. No. Dry race. No. So there we go. That was Exotics. Now, let's move very quickly on to the grade book. So, start from bottom to top as always. Let's move on through. 1F to give out a week. 1A star to give out a week. Now, I try and go from where I think you should be finishing rather than where you do finish. Okay, so. P20, Van Rocco. Started P20, finished P20. F. I know people are going to say that's harsh. I'm always harsh on myself, but that was. That was it. I know I'm wheel learning. I know I'm going to be slower, but that is it. I... There was, I retired at the end because I just kept spinning. I shouldn't have done because we would have had the first ever race where we had 20 finishes. So it's my own fault. I take full responsibility for that. I was awful. F. I got lapped like two or three times. Will started P17, finished P19. Bit of a tricky race for him. C. Uh, Red Dog started P19, finished P18. B. Atomar started P18, finished P17. B. Orocolo started P7, finished P16. D. Cornet started P8, finished P6, P15, D. Chieto started P5, uh, finished P14. Uh, I'm gonna again. I'm gonna do what I sometimes do is split them. So I'm gonna give you a B for your qualifying and a D for your race. So you're gonna end up with a C. B16 started P14, finished P13, B. Great drive, solid drive. Delta P13, P12, B. Medwoods, P12, P11, B. A lot of one gain, one place gaining there. Uh, Frog started P2, finished P10, uh, C. Giamma started P6, finished P9, B. Stewart, back in the points, started P9, finished P7, A. Righty boy, again, solid drive. You are, you've come into the end of the season here and you have, you know, banging in those solid drives. You're going to be well up there next season, I hope. Started P10, finished P6, A. Corbin started P4, finished P5, I... Probably one of the only overtakes I made in the race was when you spun round at the beginning. So uh, <laughs> I'll take that. But for dropping a position, B. Toss uh, started P3, finished P4. B. Exotic started P11, finished P3. Come back to me. Honesy started P16, finished P2. Come back to me on that. And then Fumpf, you're going to get an A just because you are, you know, Fumpf Kugel Nace, you are uh, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> A. So, I've got two people in line with it. Exotic and Homesy. Now, I think I remember a few weeks ago, this happened as well, and it was between these two drivers, and I think I went for someone else. So, this week, I'm going to actually give it to someone who has shown great form at the end of the season. First ever podium. So, congratulations, Exotic. A-star this week. Well done. And Homesy, you still get the A for it. It was a great drive from you. It was a toss-up, but I think Exotic, for getting his first podium, from fighting his way through the field, for a great strategy, A-star, definitely. So that is that. That's the grade book. Now, Rayner has put together um, a spreadsheet with the grades. So we're going to add these ones onto that. And then we're going to try and tot everything up and see what the average grades are. Obviously, it doesn't mean much but because it's just my opinion. But um, my opinion means jack all, basically. So, yeah, it'd be good to see what the average is over the whole season. I think I, did, I, think I missed maybe one or two races in the beginning. So that's that. Um, that's it. I don't need to say anything else because there's no race this week. We're done. We're dusted. That's it. Watch out for the calendar reveal. Watch out for the league rules reveal. Watch out for the teams reveal. But that's it. There we go. We're done. Have a great day. Have a great rest of the week. Enjoy the Grand Prix this weekend. I cannot wait for Bahrain. Um, and we'll see how we go. See you later. Over and out. <laughs>